Our first recipients tonight are Erwin and Colleen Martins. The Martins grew up not far from one another in Manitoba, but they didn't meet until Irwin came back to UND after two years of playing professional hockey in Germany. They would both earn master's degrees from UND, Irwin in economics and Colleen in speech pathology. Erwin Martins was a walk-on with the UND hockey team who became a co-captain of the 1980 National Championship squad. That would already make you a legend in hockey circles, but Erwin has remained committed to the program over the past 40 years. You know, he bleeds green. Uh, you know, he, he's a guy that's been, you know, around the country in all different parts of the, of the U.S. And, uh, and his heart just keeps coming back to North Dakota. Um, he's a guy that uh, follows uh, not only our hockey program, but UND uh, uh, very closely. He's a guy that, uh, that just kind of just, you know, speaks from the heart. And uh, when you think of the Sioux Award or, or, or what it takes to be that recipient, um, he has all the qualities. He, he, he's, he's part of a strong culture here. He's, uh, he, he's humble in everything he does, hardworking guy, and he gives back. And I think that's the biggest thing is he helps others. And that's what we do here at North Dakota. After a two-year professional hockey career in Germany, Erwin returned to UND to continue his education. That's when he met Colleen, an aspiring speech pathologist. And shortly after completing their master's degree programs, they married. Erwin would become an early expert in the field of risk management, while Colleen worked as a speech pathologist in school and hospital settings. The couple have been supportive of UND in many ways, including sponsoring an annual colloquium in the Department of Communication Sciences and Disorders. And Colleen and Irwin definitely demonstrate loyalty to UND, um, not only by their financial giving, but actually through their presence at the events that they do sponsor. Colleen comes back every fall and sits down right beside us during this one day event that she sponsors and um, learns right alongside with us as uh, demonstrating a, a lifelong learner. You hear the word, the phrase giving back associated so much in the context of philanthropy, and which of course is true of Colleen and Irwin, but with them it's just not a phrase, it goes so much deeper. Um, Colleen is financially and personally invested in our department. She genuinely cares about our faculty, our students, our client, and the quality of speech language services we provide in our clinic. So I think that Colleen really exemplifies what we try to instill in our students. We want them to be kind, caring, which she had a great long professional career as a kind, caring, competent speech language pathologist. Um, she continues to nurture her creativity through lifelong learning and generously shares that with others through the colloquium each year. Irwin's a... Uh a great human being in the fact that he, he has a lot of layers, and, uh, and I mean that in a great way. Um, he has a serious side to him. He has kind of a quirky, charismatic, uh, comical side to him. Um, but at the end of the day, he's a guy that, that just, you know, speaks from his heart all the time, a guy that just kind of gives everything he has to UND, and, you know, it's funny, in life, when, when life goes on and you get older, sometimes you, you get a little bit further away from places, be, one being UND. He's a guy that's never left. He's always been here and he's always came back. And, and again, uh, you know, that's a big thing for us in our program here of sustaining our culture. Because culture is a tough thing to build up and it's easy to, to, uh, to lose. But he's one of those guys that keeps adding to the tradition by just kind of giving back all the time. Colleen and Irwin, for your success in your respective careers and your unwavering dedication to the University of North Dakota, please come forward to accept your Sioux Awards.
would like to begin by thanking Deanna, President Andy Armacost, and First Lady Kathy Armacost, and the UND Alumni Association and Foundation for honoring us this evening. We also extend heartfelt congratulations to all our fellow recipients. We are so proud and honored to share this stage with you. And to all our friends and family, our son Liam and daughter Alyssa, who join us here tonight, thank you for being here to celebrate such a meaningful moment for Colleen and me. It's been an extraordinary few years. We're very grateful to be able to share this evening with the UND community. UND has always held a special place in our hearts. Although we arrived on campus at different times, Erwin and I both found a place where we were encouraged to pursue our passions and develop our interests and take risks and thankfully meet each other. We both feel we wouldn't be the people we are today without the support that UND offered us. And we wouldn't be the couple we are today if Colleen hadn't started offering me her desserts in the cafeteria. <laughs> <when I left. laughs> but it's true, I walked onto, onto UND hockey team in 1976 as a farm boy with a love for the game and a passion for science and math. UND supported my athletic and academic growth in ways that exceeded my wildest expectations. The on-ice leadership I learned from Coach Gino Gasparini. <laughs> shaped, shaped me from a raw walk-on to the co-captain of the 1980 NCAA championship team. <laughs> and served me well in my business career. Academically, Dean Tom, uh, Clifford took a big chance on me and helped me return to UND to further my studies after my hockey career in Germany ended. In grad school, I benefited greatly from the mentorship and intellectual engagement of Professors Reed, Markowitz, Blackwell, Metzger, Winger, and Gregory across the economics and math departments that helped develop my business insights and passion for building solutions, which eventually led me toward a career in a newly emerging field of of risk management. And although UND introduced me to her, Colleen deserves a lot of credit for supporting me during my, uh, my academic passions. In fact, the first time I asked her out, she immediately said no. <laughs> More specifically, she said she couldn't go out because she had studying to do. That's when I recognized that I had to do a lot more studying to get her attention. <laughs> Our kids like to joke that Erwin was lucky I had to take a statistics and computer class because it gave him the opportunity to offer me assistance. I will say there is no way I would have passed those classes without his help. My passion for speech and language pathology was born out of my experience growing up with a sister with a disability and a lifelong desire for helping others. I fell in love with the level of instruction and academic excellence that UND offered, and the Department of Communication Sciences and Disorders, CSD, opened my eyes to all the different ways I could apply my knowledge. I want to recognize the faculty of this department in particular for all of their hard work and dedication to their students and the profession. Carla said, the best aspect of my career was the continuing education. Staying engaged as a lifelong learner in my field was something UND instilled in me, and it's why I'm so proud to support UND through the annual CSD Colloquium. Every fall, I look forward to returning to campus and to seeing the excitement and engagement among the faculty and students. It's an honor to be able to give back in a way that is so personally meaningful. Growing up on the family farm, not far from downtown Hansboro, <laughs> and for those of you that don't know where Hansboro is, think the outskirts of Rolla. <laughs> Hockey was a big part of my life. In fact, the pond I learned to skate on uh, board, uh, bordered the one-room school I attended. Now that sounds crazy, but yes, I did actually go to a one-room school. 
Hockey was also my ticket to a wider world, and as serendipity would have it, a dorm room at Walsh Hall. <laughs> UND wasn't just the team I played for, it was also my chance to explore the diverse range of interests from computer science and mathematics, economics, to music and astronomy. I had a privilege of learning from a host of very talented professors along the way, all of whom encouraged my curiosity and helped me forge in my eventual career path. As I look back, I count myself as very fortunate for having nearly a 45-year relationship with UND. And UND has been filled with opportunity and promise and a liberal, liberal dose of serendipity in my past. It's the honor to give back to the university that has given me so much. In closing, we would both encourage UND students to stay involved with the university, write your favorite professor, find out what research they are involved in, come and visit when in the area, and donate what you can. Thank you so much for honoring us, and congratulations again to all of tonight's recipients.